Hey guys, this is a guide on Vardorvis. So for basic gear, we're going to be just rocking with this. Obviously, if you have Bandos, Torpo, anything better than this setup, go ahead and upgrade that. Blood Fury is very nice here too. I'm just going to be rocking a Torture in case you guys do not have that. And for gear, I'm bringing the Chally for a special attack. Just because I know not everyone can get Claws or Void Waker or any of the high damage spec weapons, but to get to the boss, we're going to be teleporting to Chambers as Eric. You are going to run down the hill all the way this way until you get to this boat. Well, not that boat. It's going to be a boat right here. I don't know why it's bringing me over there, but it's going to pretty much bring you right to this little bay here. And you're going to walk all the way through here to this tunnel, and you'll be right at the boss. Or if you guys are able to teleport. We're going to be going right to this one. And it'll pretty much just bring you right here. This is where the boat will be in. You just walk right to that. These things will always attack you. Make sure you don't go AFK in this area. Nice angler before we get in there. Bring thralls if you have them. Very good here. I haven't done it in this setup, but I'm sure it won't be too much different. This boss requires a little bit more of perfection than the other ones. Might be a little tricky to get the hang of. So, we get in the kill, it's not going to start right away. You get, once you attack him, it'll start. So, we're going to Divine Pot right now. And we'll just go ahead and dump a Chally on him. Summon your thrall. And uh, not the best hit, but something. So, through the kill, it's gonna spawn axes. You gotta move out of the way for those. You stay hitting it. Only move when you need to. I like this corner right here on the south side, because you won't spawn those ice spikes below you, but. If you're not in this area, he'll spawn them below your feet. I could show you for example. So when he does this, click the red blobs fast. Or you'll take some damage. Yep. Right range when you see that little guy pop up. Oh, got hit by one there, but it's alright. Move out of the way, we already know where they're gonna go. Right range when you see that. Usually the sound cue is pretty good. Chelly's not the best bag, but you know, if you don't got anything else, it's nice. I like to bring this type of food, because you can triple eat like that. And it's pretty nice here, you might end up needing to do that. Pray range. If you don't pray range, your prayers will be disabled and he can hit you pretty hard, up to like 40 something. Make sure you super combat again after brewing down. Click all of those. Resummon your thrall if it goes away. Great right, range, you're hurting. You can take perfect it like that, where you jumped out and jump back. Range. Sometimes you don't even need to see him, you could just hear the sound of him. At the end, it'll start speeding up. You get three X's. A little trickier. It's kind of like a DPS check a little bit. You'll die at the end of the kill more than the beginning, that's for sure. And just like that. It'll be a little tricky to learn, but we'll do one more kill for this guide, because this one seems a little more trickier. But if you guys are enjoying these guys, just make sure you guys show it down below and comment if you guys would like to see anything different. Alright, we'll do one more kill. Let's see how this goes. Well, I guess Fang Spike's pretty good too sometimes. Chally Spec. I don't know it's better than the other ones. Great range on that. 
me just move out of the way. You see where the axes were going? New thrall. There we go. Whoop. Play range. Don't worry if you're missing heads. You don't have to be perfect with it. It's more just staying alive through the whole fight. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Play range. Melee again. Right when you see it hit you, you're good to switch back. We're just gonna eat a little bit here. Health was getting a little low. Do one chally spec. Oh, I missed it there. I'm just gonna eat real quick. If you miss it, just eat if you wanna stay. Or I may have to tell you out if you're low health. Dodge that one. If you guys would like to find out how to get the IDs of all this, I can make a guide on that too. And how to highlight them like that. Because it does definitely help to know how to do the skip with the axes. We're just gonna run. Oh, we're gonna get hit one time. Oh, let's eat. <laughs> it happens. Mistakes are gonna happen. No matter how much you do this, it will get in a pinch sometimes. Alright, there you guys go. And from this gear setup, I think I said before, Torva, Bandos, Fang's the most affordable. I personally like the Cell Door. Fang's really nice, actually. Very consistent kills. You can, I see people using Scythe as well. I'm not sure what's exactly better. I have a guide comparing all three of them if you guys want to see that, but Fang is pretty nice. Probably the best bang for your buck for this boss, but yeah. Let me guys know what you guys think down below, and hope you guys all have a good day. Thank you guys.